Hello and welcome to another Creative Diary. My name is Adam McIntosh. Uh, if this is the first one of these videos that you're seeing from me, this is kind of the space that I use to talk a little bit about everything creative and also things creatively that I've been up to inside and outside of photography and also just to log these times for myself so that in the future I can kind of look back and be like, why did he wear that hat or whatever. Um, I will also flash up a bit of the work that I've been working on as I talk about it. So something to look forward to. Otherwise, no fancy edits, kind of old school YouTube, just being open, personal, talking about life as an artist and things that I've been up to, if you are interested. So where have I been? Um, sick, mostly. <laughs> the last couple of months been pretty rough. I had a couple of flus and I just haven't wanted to talk to camera because also who would want to listen to that? Otherwise, I think last time we spoke in one of these videos, I was in the middle or pretty early days of my tattoo apprenticeship, which didn't end in the way that anybody would probably like it to, but it did. Um, it was a pretty stressful time, especially stressfully stressful financially. Um, I had to buy and reset a lot of things that were once provided by my studio to have them for myself. So yeah, it was pretty stressful and for anybody who knows anything about a tattoo apprenticeship is that you don't get paid. So I certainly didn't have savings. And uh, thankfully with the help of some loving people, I got by and now am in a new studio, which has been amazing. It's, uh, it's a good positive space. I'm with new people, I meet new people and um, it's been really good. It's um, yeah, getting the ball rolling as a new tattoo artist and the death of Instagram, it's, it's not the easiest of days, but one positive thing is that I have um, great returning customers, great friends and all those kind of things who who keep me afloat and um the other thing is that i love it that's that's also as uh more and more as time goes on the more i sink into it the more i start to to know what i like and to know what i'm going for has been really inspiring and then i can actually have a little bit my more direction on what i want to study and in, in that um in that industry and uh yeah otherwise uh it's just good to be on my own feet i think there's a point where you kind of need to flee the coop and you know, run on your own. And I feel like I'm there. Obviously I still have a lot to learn and um, I will continue to learn in self-directed study and from everybody that I end up coming in contact with in the industry. So yeah, that's been uh, super exciting. And just, I don't know, something that I just want to get better and better at. Um, for those who are curious, that's actually my main source of income uh, at the moment, uh, depending on the month. I still do a bunch of photo work as well. And it's been pretty nice. It's a good balance between, well, two things that I love, basically. I'm working two dream jobs and depending on how my calendar looks, then I get to sort of pick and choose a little bit on what I want to do for that month. So yeah, super nice. Um, I won't ramble about that too much because I don't really know like who's here specifically for photography content or for those who are here for creative stuff in general but the channel is about creative stuff in general uh, also. So if you have any questions specifically about the tattooing stuff, I'm not here to teach you, but like, you know, just being a tattoo artist or, or whatever my experience is, just drop them in the comments so I can get to those maybe in an individual video um, or just in another one of these creative diaries in the future. Something I really want to do with these videos is open up the conversation a little bit as well because I love talking about this stuff. And I know when I was younger, I had so many questions given that was sort of pre-internet and whatever, and I couldn't just Google whatever. But uh, if I had someone to talk to, someone to offer advice, um, I, I would have been stoked. So ask away. Otherwise, uh, what have I been up to? I went on a couple of trips this year. Um, I went to Riga. I went to Genova or Genova in Italy. Uh, and I went to Paris, France. Um, I didn't photograph as much as you probably would have liked me to, or I would have liked me to. Um, but I did do a little bit actually, mostly in Italy. I made two videos actually, they're up on the channel already. So if you want to go check those out, that was actually a really beautiful place to photograph. I would definitely go back and photograph more, especially if I could sink into the city a little bit more. Um, one, one not so nice thing there was that when we were there, it was, um, design week and they had just a bunch of advertising, which was really unattractive somehow. And uh, it was just everywhere and you couldn't avoid it in the photos. So yeah, there were like areas that I really wanted to photograph and ended up avoiding because of 
how much bad advertisement was there. It was a bit strange. So yeah, uh, in Riga, I didn't find that much to photograph on the street, to be honest. I shot about two thirds of a roll of film, which I haven't developed yet. When I do, I'll check them up in one of these videos. And then I just recently came back from Paris, France, um, which was amazing. I loved the city. It's a controversial opinion, I know. But I really did fall in love with the city. Um, there were factors on each trip that didn't allow me to photograph as much as, as I could have. And um, that's fine. I, to be honest, I enjoyed a little bit of the break and traveling with the people that I was traveling with and it not just be strictly work. However, I will 110% be back in Paris strictly to photograph. Um, there's so much to photograph there and it's beautiful and inspiring and yeah, I think I could, I could really photograph there for a long time. So at the latest, I think spring, I will try to be back. Spring 2023. Um, because flight prices right now are mental and also, yeah, I'm pretty broke. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, otherwise, um, well, one thing I would like to show you is this small little project I did with my girlfriend. We just we were in the countryside for a few days and decided to make something. I've always wanted to make something um, in this vein with this aesthetic. I did grow up listening to like a lot of heavy music and I like horror movies and stuff. And um, it may not be the most original thing you've ever seen, but I think they're really beautiful. And I would really love to make a music video and some style like this or band photos or whatever like tie it back to music somehow i really like the aesthetic and i think i can even push it further like given models or a budget or whatever and uh yeah so enjoy that there's also a video which i think is really cool i just can't post it here because youtube is going to take the music down or copyright it or whatever so it's on my instagram and tiktok so go check it out there it's not hard to find um i think it's really cool and yeah, that's kind of where I'm headed with the music video idea. You'll get a little bit more of a sense of it there too. Uh, I'm looking at my list of other stuff. I have been shooting um, closely with my friend Vicky, who has a clothing company called Nava, which he recently launched. Um, we've done a lot of work together in the past and just being such close friends, we're able to communicate really well. I think we have a pretty similar vision on stuff anyways, uh, but it, otherwise it's still, you know, working with a brand really forces you to think sideways a little bit, you know, like how it's not just about what I want to do, but it's what is good for the brand and what is the brand trying to present. So that's been fun. And we had a really nice shoot, uh, was it? Yeah. End of summer. And yeah, it's just been fun. It's, it's really nice to be able to shoot these things and, you know, have, have models available and just nice people to work with. And I hope I can continue doing that. And well, otherwise, I have new studio lights, new photo studio lights, um, which, yeah, I'm just paying off monthly. Couldn't afford them, but I think I'll help them, hopefully help them pay for themselves as I can. It'll basically open up my work possibilities having those. I've definitely turned down work in the past because I didn't have my own studio lighting and would then have to add on the cost of hiring a studio to the, to the final cost um, to the customer. So having my own ones, super nice. It also allows me to be a little bit more creative in my own projects. Um, there's certainly studio projects that I, I have in my mind already and have been wanting to start for a long time. So yeah, look forward to that. There will hopefully be um, some really nice stuff on the web and definitely some YouTube videos as well. I'll make some YouTube uh, videos centered around those. I have worked with studio lighting quite a lot, but mostly as an assistant. So in those cases, I'm, I'm sort of doing what I'm told to do rather than having the creative freedom with the lighting. So I'm just really looking forward to also playing around with them and seeing what I can come up with. I have pop-up studio ideas um, and like I say, like long form projects, which will now allow me to have a more consistent look and um, yeah something that I can uh, do over time and have the potential of then creating exhibitions and books or whatever from those projects. So pretty excited. I haven't even really played with them yet. I had a very quick test to make sure they're working as I pulled them out of the box. Otherwise, um, I think I'll probably give them a good test on an upcoming YouTube video. Otherwise, I've been pushing print sales a bit and looking at things like stock imaging and stuff as well, just trying to make a little bit of like uh, 
money off things that already exist on the hard drives. And, um, you know, hopefully people are, you know, willing to hang my work on their walls and I can actually, you know, start to make a little income out of the thousands of hours that I spent on the street photographing. That would be super nice. And uh, I have sold a few and I've, I've made a few prints in the past. And one of the most beautiful things uh, about photography is having your work printed out and seeing it in physical form. Um, it's, it's really nice. Even if you aren't selling prints or whatever, if you can afford to do it, even if you just do it on the cheap, I would 100% recommend going out and getting some of your work printed, hang it on your own walls. Like it's pretty nice to look at. I've got a few around here and it's just inspiring to go out and shoot. And, um, yeah, we get so used to looking at our work on, on Instagram and it's so small and you start to question whether these things are good or not, then you have them blowing up a little bit bigger. And yeah, it's amazing. It's just, it's so much nicer to look at. So one thing I definitely recommend. Otherwise, I think that's about it. There's more street videos and tutorials to come specifically on photography. So yeah, if you have any requests, any questions, something you want me to talk about in a video, whatever it may be, um, just drop them in the comments. Check out all my links and everything below. Otherwise, I hope you're well. And thanks for watching and happy creating as always. See you next time. Peace.